uh, Steve Mitchinson, Executive Director of Driver and Vehicle Services at the Department of Transport. So responsible for safe drivers, safe vehicles, secure identities and obviously great service. I think collaboration, there's a lot of work being done to encourage collaboration across the sector. We're a complete non-compete so we have a distinct advantage over the private sector and you're starting to see that emerge where we're prepared to use somebody else's idea and not have to be the sole um, ideas person. I think nearly all of us are facing exactly the same challenges, how we manage our staff, how we engage with our customers, how we deliver services more effectively and even things like how do we improve inclusion and diversity. So. Um, no one's got all the answers, but if we actually sit in a room together, we can actually come up with far better outcomes. And we've seen that through some of our design thinking workshops where we've engaged citizens and other stakeholders. Being humble. Mm. I think leaders have to be more humble in this generation because uh, there's so many good ideas around us. And, and we talked about how do we actually get ideas out of our staff. So the sector's got its own innovation platform, but we find that you know less than 3% of public servants have have joined up for that and so we need to encourage more and more people to get involved in that process. I think collaboration outside the sector is critically important mm. and particularly when technology is moving so fast and service delivery options and a whole lot of other things are moving so fast that we don't engage with others. We're basically limited by our own understanding and people sometimes criticise me for engaging too much with the private sector but then I say, how did you get that idea? So they actually ask somebody that had a different mindset to what mm. I've got. We saw the term collaboration come through so often in terms of you know across the agency, across the sector, with others, and also a lot of discussion around what I call human-centered design, engaging our actual customers in the process design and not just trying to do it ourselves because um, where we've used customers, we've, we've come with so much better outcomes than we would have if we just used our own insular thinking.